My next guest is one half of one of the happiest marriages in rock music. She's also a very outspoken loose woman. She's been living it up in lockdown. It has to be... Teddy Lancaster! Yay! And what about the whole homeschooling thing? How's that been? Oh, my God! When we talk about chivalry, we do tend to talk about men. It's about just caring and paying attention and respecting one another. <laughs> We'd even considered adopting, but the little ones, they said they love our little brew the way it is. So we're getting a puppy instead. <laughs> <laughs> and Penny Lancaster joins me now from her home. Good morning, Penny. Good morning, Andy. You look amazing. Oh, that's very kind of you. Oh, my goodness, thank you very much. As do you. You look spectacular. <laughs> and, of course, this is the first time I've been into yours and Rod's house, so I just need to go full frame and have a quick look around your living room. Oh, lovely I pictures. I like how tidy my desk is. Oh, yeah, but I do like those picture plate frames. Very, like, Queen's Jubilee. Love those. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> look, you've been in lockdown like most of us, but lockdown for you was particularly difficult, wasn't it? Well, I wouldn't say that, Andy. I said we, we've um, we've actually been the lucky ones. We had the first month down in um, Florida with two of Rod's older children and R2, and then we flew back to to England, but uh, with another two of the children. So we've got good quality family time. The only strange thing was for one minute I thought I was coming down with the virus because my temperature was soaring through the roof. But then I realised it was menopause. And that's, that's what I was alluding to. I was trying to do it in a very discreet way. First time <laughs> I've had to talk about the menopause on television was just, you know, feeling my ground. Uh, <laughs> but how was it and how are you at the moment? Um, I'm actually coping all right. Um, I, I think lots of conversations with other women, talking to a doctor and just sort of understanding it. There's so many black areas with the menopause. Um, and like you said, you were very unsure about it. There's many men that haven't got a clue. So the more you can talk about it and uh, the more... It, easy it is to understand the, the problems that come along with it. I mean, as I said, you know, you are on Loose Women and that's one of those shows where people possibly overshare. Was it important for you to talk about it, to, to help yourself? Absolutely. Um, I, I love the platform of Loose Women. Um, there's so many wonderful feedbacks we get from the general public saying how much it's helped them to hear that someone else going through the same thing. So I think it's really important, um, woman to woman, to kind of share those experiences and help men along the way too. Yeah, absolutely. Because, and you're absolutely right, because I've learned more about it in the last 24 hours. So actually, you're right. By sharing, we all get to know a little bit more. You're also, I mean, you're so busy. You've been doing a lot of work with the British Heart Foundation as well, haven't you? Yes. Um, my brother and I, way back when we were kids, we used to swim um, and raise money for the British Heart Foundation. And one horrible day, we were burgled and they took all the money that we'd raised. So it's kind of been... Um, kind of stuck with us, the British Heart Foundation. And then more recently, my father sadly had a heart attack, but he's recovered and all well. And my mum had a stroke a year ago and she's recovered, thank God. But it sort of got me more involved in the foundation and they've got a new free post donation service, which they asked if I would kindly um, to talk about. So I did a little video on my Instagram and I demonstrated how easy it was to collect your items that you no longer want and those loved, treasured items that maybe don't fit like my dress there and um, send them in a box with a, a label that you can print off and it's posted for free from one of your local drop-off points. So it's really, really easy and it does go towards helping the British Heart Foundation save many more lives. And are they going to auction them off? I mean, have you sort of done a, a route around your wardrobe and a route around Rod's as well? It, well, I, I, I gathered some really, really kind of more high-end items and because it's going to the eBay British Heart Foundation site, so they will be auctioned off. Um, we often give things to local high street charity shops, but, of course, this way you're going to be able to raise a lot more funds. So hopefully it'll be going live soon. Which is fantastic. Uh, has Rod donated anything? I've got this vision that he's watching now uh, in another <laughs> room, just thinking, let's just have a look around what she's doing. Uh, will he, is he watching? He probably is watching, and I can hear the dog scraping on the door to come in. Um, well, wait, when he saw me collecting my items, he said, oh, I want to get involved. So he got um, one of his tour programmes. He got some um, CDs and a book, I believe, and he's personally signed them. So that's, that's part of the package too. Oh, amazing. Well, look, I, I hope you manage to raise a lot of money and help this charity, which is obviously very close to your heart. Uh, something else which has become a passion of yours was born off the back of a TV show that you did with Channel 4. So that was Famous and Fighting Crime. Tell me a bit about the TV series first. 
Okay, well, um, the opportunity came along for me to have an experience and get involved in part of the community that I would never have otherwise seen um, or had the experience of. So it was working as a police officer volunteer in Peterborough, which was a real shock to the system. But I, I just loved every second of it. And just like the police officers I spoke to, um, they said the reason they got into the job in the first place is because they wanted to make a difference. And I really did feel like I made a difference every day. I mean, as we mentioned, I do get involved in many charities, but you will often find that you're on the outskirts and there's, you know, you're never doing enough. But with something like working in the community as an officer, um, you come in contact with, I would say, 80 percent of the time with victims of crime. And I feel that I could offer a lot of comfort and reassurance to the victims as well as dealing with suspects. And I just thought, well, why not do it for real? Which I think that is so, so brave of you. Look, I've even got a little, hang on, flashing blue light. There we go. Just to get you used to it in advance, you know. And you never yeah. know, ITV have been showing some very old episodes of various shows. There could be a part in the bill for you coming soon. You never know. Look at you there. Has it been fun? Has it been... Wait my bag. Has it been fun? It's been absolutely amazing. I've, got, I've passed all the tests required, the, yeah. the huge vetting process that everyone has to go through to check all your backgrounds and all your family and um, the, the medical, the physical and all of that. And I'm just waiting for my start of my training, which is September 10th. And it's every Thursday night, every other weekend until April. So it's quite intense. But... Okay, I'm just going to remind you, it's not like going to brownies or anything like that or girl guys. Oh, it's every Thursday. No, this is like serious stuff. It's amazing. I applaud you. Uh, oh. Well done, you. And thank you so much for talking to us this morning. Absolutely. Take care. Good luck to you. You're doing a great job. Oh, God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.